bird that, that 100 or 200 years ago used to live around here when, when these were kind of, when there were streams flowing through this area because this is, um, this is Bolo Bridge Road and Bolo Stream actually used to flow along here so there would have been bits of marshy bits and water meadows where snipe lives. So. As well as being a nice kind of image on a wall, it just reminds people of what has been lost and what could be regained. The snipe are disappearing generally from England now because of the drainage of water meadows and marshes for intensive farming. So it's not just snipe that suffer, it's a whole ecosystem and you know lots of other species, birds and insects, butterflies, flowers, everything. South Acton is one of the biggest council estates in West London. It's home to about 5,000 people. It's a very mixed estate, traditional white working class, big African Caribbean community, big Somali community, Eastern European, Polish. There was, up till about three, four years ago, um, quite a big gang culture here, but for various reasons, that's quietened down. To be honest, it doesn't really deserve the reputation that, that, that still lingers. It's an area where you feel quite safe, and there is a good community spirit around here. It's a very, very young estate. Up to about 30% of the people who live here are under 25, and about a quarter of the people are under 15, but often in overcrowded conditions, poor conditions. But now there's a programme for the next 15 years to basically regenerate the whole of the estate. Our mission in all the areas that we work is to try and work with residents and local groups to identify what the needs are in the area um, and try and give them the tools and the skills and the resources to be able to address them. We've always thought art was a really important tool in terms of the community development work that we're doing. Fifteen months ago, the council had some funding to do some public artwork. It was an enormous success. And on the back of that, last summer, we were given a shop up on Acton High Street that it was decided to use as a gallery. Originally, we were just going to open it three days a week, but such has been the response from um, local people volunteering that it's open something like six days a week now. <laughs> some general themes in this exhibition. It's called Sentience because it's about a consciousness and awareness that other living things have, you know. The painting 98% refers to the percentage of DNA or genetic makeup that we share with chimpanzees. Some scientists say it's 99.8% and human beings and chimpanzees should be put in the same genus, the same family. The reason I showed her alongside a mandala was that one of the ways of looking at a mandala is that it's a map of human consciousness as well as being a means of entering into higher states of human consciousness. Consciousness itself in human beings is a, is a real mystery. It's still not understood what it is scientifically. We necessarily have even less understanding of another species consciousness. Chimpanzees and rhesus monkeys depicted in the 94% painting. They're so close to us emotionally and psychologically that it's criminal to experiment on my thing and keep them in confined spaces and subject them to forms of torture and it's the same pattern of thought which was used to justify slavery or all sorts of racist ideologies. We should have more respect for different types of consciousness and we should respect other species and we shouldn't consider them inferior. series of projects that we hope will be happening down here.
Thatcher tried to destroy the, um, the sense of, you know, a society and promoted the idea that greed was good and it was all about individual advancement without any care about anybody else. And um, in a way, you know, that kind of extreme capitalism is responsible for environmental catastrophes as well. Stencils on the street, and you go a bit larger than life because it, the surroundings just shrink what you're doing. What I'll end up when I take this card away is just my black outlines. So then I'll freehand in all the necessary colour, put my black layer, this same layer, back up, and do the black over the top. It's like a big colouring book. You have to create that actual image yourself, like, What do you mean? Yeah, mate, yeah, you yeah. You have to make it first, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take photos, yeah, take photos, cut it, so that takes the longest bit, mate. It's a long time, man, long time. Thank you, mate. Thank you. in serious decline. Numbers are down by 70 or 80 percent since the 80s or 70s. They used to live in rough fields before intensive agriculture, so they need hedgerows, stubble fields, you know, before the permanent use of fields for crops. When fields were fallow and stubble fields were left in the autumn, things like that. People used to hunt them for food and were so common, they were everywhere, now they're rare. <laughs> it all falls apart so I often go back over and cover up my bridges with a paint pen this uh, yeah. just sort of smooths it off not always necessary some sometimes bridges help the look of the work 
and some artists incorporate bridges as um, you know part of their style. You know, like uh, C215 uses his bridges as part of his work. At the moment, I'm liking quite a thick, bold outline on my work. Adds a cartoony element to it. because the estate's just been so bad for years it's nice to see something nice on the walls <laughs> and cool. not like you know swear words and <laughs> yeah. tags and stuff yeah it's nice to see some actual art I started it yesterday. I drew it on the wall yesterday. We're just doing paintings to make it look nice around here. There's some more around the corner. Yeah? What do you draw? Flowers. Flowers? Oh, I did that picture. That one? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So that's that kind of you drew that? Yeah, I drew it, yeah. I did that in the museum, you know, it was a stuffed bird. So I couldn't do it that, I couldn't do it this big in the museum. <laughs> that's amazing. Uh, did you do the one around the other side? Yeah. Oh, I just see it. My bedroom is lovely. Oh. I mean, these are all going to get knocked down in the next five years. But oh, they are. But there's lots of artists doing work on them. Oh. One of the first things that this government did was cut the grants that are made available to housing associations to build, and so they have to have a certain proportion for sale. They are now looking at, at setting rent at a certain percentage of market level. The council, thankfully, are taking a hard line on their negotiations. And so as another block is being decanted, ready to be demolished, the people who are being moved out of there get an option to move into the stuff that's being built at the moment. So the people who've lived here and settled here aren't forced out. Oh, right, well, probably. Denmark. Ah, right. Thank you. Okay. Beautiful bird. Sorry. <laughs> I'm a bit naughty, but when I was young, I collected bird eggs. Yeah. So, uh, and I had partridges, red-legged partridges, pheasants, you I name did, it. I did as well. Is that right? Yeah, oh. Partridges and pheasants, well, they lay 20 eggs at a time. Oh, yeah. You know, they're, a bit, they're big, uh, big layers, so yeah, exactly. one never went amiss. There's got to be more different artists. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, good idea. It does brighten your state up, doesn't it? Yeah. You know, yeah, it's, yeah. Uh... What's that, a pheasant? Uh, it's a partridge. It's a partridge. It's partridge. Yeah. Do you charge them to do that? No, no, this is kind of voluntary. I just like the idea of putting in paintings. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Glad you like it. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Cheers. All right. Cheers.